So today we're gonna create so the AI has a health bar so we can actually see how how much that health he amazing. has left so it's gonna be a really short video for today so let's create in the enemy system a new folder let's call it uh, widget open that up and uh, let's create user interface a widget blueprint uh what the what the fuck is this push? Click on the user widget. Let's call it health bar WB. So widget blueprint, open that up. And uh, it's empty, right? So, like, so search for canvas panel. So drag that in. And drag in a uh, progress bar. Because basically what we are going to do, display the widget above the head, how you saw in the preview. So uh, to anchor it, uh, click on the progress bar and go to anchor and go to middle. And just drag it in, in the middle. Make it neat as possible. Y you can change it later for now, you can just, you know. So make it in like roughly in the middle and click on it and you will see uh, appearance right here, fill color and opacity. So it's basically the color and it's gonna be filled. Uh, you can test it out going to progress and percent. So click on it and you can like, you know, drag it in. So let's change the color to like reddish. You can do whatever color you want. For me, it's gonna be like, you know, like dark red, I guess. I think that looks cool. So you can see if it's one, then it's full when it's like, uh, 0 0.5 it's half so basically that everybody. let's go back to our uh, AI so enemy BP and you can see we already have health if you don't have it do not worry you can just create a float call it health and that's basically it bam you have health so let's go to the viewport click on the mesh go to add a widget click on the widget and you can see it's uh, looks weird right? actually we don't need it in the mesh so just drag it out and you will see it's like a weird box thingy like uh you can go to go to widget class and click on uh, the none and search for your health so, far. so now you will like see the health bar thingy if you don't do not see it just go compile and save in the health bar widget and just rotate it so it's uh, actually like perfect so it's on top of the, it's it's quite big uh so let's make it like i think that is okay so now if we compile and save it and we taste it out you will be able to see the health bar except there's a problem when you like turn around you can see the health bar kind of disappears so set uh, set the space as a screen So now uh, I would advise you to actually make it a bit smaller So if you play right now, you can see now it's just gonna like be on the screen So in the health bar widget, we're just gonna make it a bit smaller So now I think it looks uh, 20 times better, you can uh, you can experiment with the hotbar, but I think now it looks okay. But you can see when you like go behind the walls or I don't know where, it kinda, you still can see it. So we're gonna actually fix it so you cannot actually see it. So uh, to actually do it, it's, it's gonna be kind of complicated. So you have to add a component called uh, a sphere collision. Let's make it like 500. Uh, let's scroll down and there should be on component begin overlap and component end overlap. So these two things. So do uh, SQL uh, sequence. I'm so sorry. So we're gonna do a sequence. So it's actually, we will need more space. Uh, and we're gonna do, oh shoot. From the uh, zero, we're gonna do cast two. Uh, BP enemy or enemy BP technically. So we're gonna cast it to ourselves uh, if that makes sense and drag that into other actor. For the one, we're gonna cast to third person character. There's probably uh, better ways to actually do it. 
I'm just doing it my way. This is how I know how to do it. And we're gonna create a new variable. Call uh, call it um, all in the range. And it's going to be an actor. So an uh, actor, object reference. And it's gonna be an array, of course. So drag that out, get, and let's add this to the array and plug that in. Bam. So now we're gonna create a new variable. Let's call it a dead question mark, and it's gonna be a boolean, and it's a normal single one. Single. <sighs> So for the second one, or for the first one, it's gonna be a branch. And condition is it dead. So, so if the enemy is not dead, then we're gonna grab the widget. So just grab the widget and set hidden, hidden in game. And it's uh, it's gonna be false. So it's not gonna be hidden. So that's basically done right here. So uh, now moving on to the end one, uh, it's basically the same. So you can just copy paste it. So copy paste that in here and plug all the pins in. So now for the enemy BP where we are casting, we are not going to add, but we're gonna remove. So we're gonna remove the item because we are ending the overlap. So we're just gonna remove. And for this one, for the second one, new hidden is checked and that's basically it. So go to the widget and put it to hidden in, uh, in game. So sh by default, it should be hidden. So now if we play, we fell, okay. So whenever we get into range, you can see, we can see the Hellbar, and when we leave, it's going to basically hide the hellbar. That is basically done. You can make the range bigger by going to sphere and going to the sphere radius. So we can do like 1000 if you want to. So we're gonna go to event graph and find event tick. I usually do not use them because uh, it's kind of bad. So we're gonna get the widget, then we're gonna get the widget, <laughs> yes we're getting the widget component, um, then we're gonna cast to uh, widget, so we're gonna cast to the widget hellbar uh, widget blueprint, uh, and we're gonna get health, uh, get health bar, uh, the health bar is the progress bar, uh, this one and set percentage so basically we're gonna set the percentage of the helper and the percentage will be i just move that a little up uh will be the help so we're gonna get the help and we're gonna divide it and plug this output inside the percentage and we're gonna divide it by, so we're gonna uh, create a max cell, plug that in, so we're gonna divide by the max cell, and our max cell will be 100. So if you compile and save it, go back and play, you will be able to see the health. So when, whenever you actually hit them, come here, you can see the health actually increases. So we have officially made the hell bar for the enemy so hopefully if you enjoyed this video uh, leave a like uh, subscribe you know we just hit 100 uh, subscribers so that's kind of insane for me